listeners, thank you so much for tuning in again today and thank you so much for your support for making this channel a success. Yes, my people, you guys are the real winner. We really love and appreciate your cheers and your like. Thank you so much, my people. Once again, we are Pick Media. We're here to bring you all the latest news as they happen, mostly political news around the country within the 36 states of Nigeria would always bring you all the news as they happen within the hour. Once again, my people, we're back in the dose state again. And also, I'll just read the caption here. It says, mixed reactions as Governor o Godwin Obaseki makes new announcement on Twitter. So my people, yes, Governor Godwin Obaseki has made a new announcement on Twitter on the 4th of January. So we're just going to listen to what he has said and we're just going to have a discussion after the news. But my people, once again, if you haven't given us a thumbs up for our video, please do put your thumbs up there. Just hit the thumbs up button to let us know that you really appreciate us. And we do appreciate you as well, my people. Thank you so much. Let's get into the news and get all the details. Details. Mixed reactions as Governor Godwin Obaseki makes new announcements on Twitter. On Monday, 4th of January 2021, the Governor of Edo State, Governor Godwin Obaseki, released new announcements via his Twitter account. According to the announcement, he said, I have appointed a transaction advisor to assist in getting the Benin River port to actualization. Our hope is to complete all the designs and fundraising this year so as the, that construction can begin early in 2022. The project is germane for the state's industrialization efforts. My administration will continue to prioritize development of roads, infrastructure, public buildings and many projects in our rural and urban areas. The commencement of trading under the AFCFTA on 1st of January 2021 is a milestone and achievement in boosting Africa's economy amidst the challenges of the coronavirus, COVID-19, pandemic, and global economic challenges. We are expanding capacity at the Edo Production Centers and the Edo Innovation Hub so that we can build an army of productive young people to grab the opportunities offered. We have success stories from these facilities already. Also, we have already initiated the Edo Tech Park as another veritable launch pad. We are confident that this initiative would empower our people to create wealth and employment opportunities to improve the state's gross development product, GDP, he tweeted. So my people, that's the news reaching us. As we can see, Obaseki has sprung into action as the present and sitting state governor. And he's been um, doing a lot of initiatives, he's been bringing in a lot of initiatives that would take the state forward, that would make Edo State one, the state of the art, that would make it one of the best states in Nigeria. You know, he has um, appointed um, transactional advisors uh, for the Benin River port to, to um, actu uh, actualization. You know, he's launching a whole lot of projects, which is very good for... Um, the state at the moment, and very good for the for the young people of the state as well, you know. And um, you know, after saying this, um, he actually said this on Twitter, and um, you know, we just wanted to see the reaction of people, you know. Um, we're just going to take a few people and their reactions and their comments, what they have said regarding this work that um, Governor Godwin Abaseki is actually doing in Edo State at the minute, you know. At the point in time, he's doing a whole lot of work. He is initiating projects upon projects and he wants to see them to completion you know not just about initiating a project the good thing is you initiate a project and you complete the project within the, 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 the time that your, your time limit within the time you're constrained with you know um your basic has got four years more i mean if if everything goes well for him he's got four years more to make to turn the state to what what he wants it to be you know he's used he's used up four years, which is which obviously he had some complaints about um, the, the, um, uh, the people that were that, that were actually wanting Edo State to go backwards, you know. And now he's launched different projects to see that the state actually moves forward 
and his tenure is quite a remarkable one. And these are the reactions from um, the, the populace, the people, you know. I'm just going to take this one. It says, what are you doing about the insecurities in your state? Well, I'd like to say straight away, uh, I think his, um, this person has got an answer to this. Uh, I mean, it's liking to what I would say as well. You know, this, this guy has said, he says, uh, security is a national issue. Okay, it's a, it's a national thing. Obaseki doesn't have the right over the commissioner of police. He can only support the police with logistics. Abuja controls the police in Edo State. Yes, so that's a straight reply to that one. Um, all Obaseki can do is to is to cooperate, is to cooperate with the police to see that um, a better policing is is seen in Edo State. You know, he doesn't control the commissioner of police. We all know that very well. And also, you know, security has been a national thing these days, you know, because, um, in fact, it's ravaging Nigeria, not just Edo State. I would say, I would think that Obasek is trying as much as possible to see that his state is well, is well policed, you know, at the, at the point in time. But however it is, um, security is something that is actually um, a, a fundamental issue in in, in, in Nigeria at, the, at, at this point in time, you know, we know the cases of the Boko Boys, a whole lot of things happening, you know, a whole lot of insecurities in the country, not just the those state, even in Delta State, Emo State, just name it. Is it Kaduna? Is it the North? Is it the South? Is it the West? Is it the East? We know that um, the East just um, uh, put together a security outfit as well. Because all, all these are just because of the insecurity of the, in the country. So it's not just a those state. I'm not trying to um, 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 side with Governor Gordon Abaseki, but security in this in our country not at large is really in shambles at the minute. So yes, Abaseki doesn't have the total control over the police, but what he can do, he can ask for more policing, he can ask um, the, the commissioner of police to deploy more police, you know, a whole lot of things that he can do, and which he's trying to do as well, you know. So um, that is that on, 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 the, on the issue of um, security. Another reaction says, Always deceiving Edo people with your fake project on paper and nothing on ground to show. Well, again, Obaseki, at this point in time, he has, um, he has launched a whole lot of projects. All we need to do as Edo people and as Nigerians is to wait and see. Let us give Obaseki a benefit of that within the four years of his tenure and see if he's able to deliver these projects that he has been um, launching, you know, so we have to wait, unfortunately, it's too early to call, we have to wait, you know, the first thing, you know, he said a whole lot of people stopped him from doing what he has to do, now he's got all the leverage to do what he needs to do, so it's too early to call to say he's been deceiving adult people or he's deceiving adult light uh, with his fake projects, we can't call this project fake, fake project now, until we actually, he gets to, he completes the project or he gets to the end of his tenure and nothing happens. Then we can say, yes, these projects were actually um, fake projects or so. And I'm just going to take the last one, which says, maintenance. Most of these potholes started small, but very big now. Please replicate what you are doing in GROA in some, in some of the, uh, these roads to avoid using money much money in future for the roads yes so this is more or less like an advice you know this this person has seen what Abaseki is doing and the project he's doing and he says you know what you can replicate this around Edo State not only in the GROA but other areas of Edo State which obviously um, he is in support of the fact that this project that Abaseki is launching out is actually the best way forward for Edo State so my people that's the reaction of the people, one or two persons, um, about um, what Obaseki just tweeted, the announcement of Obaseki this evening. So my people, we also want you to have your say. Please do leave your comment in the comment section and, uh, and let's have a discussion about what is going on in Edo State now. Do not forget to give us a thumbs up to let us know that you actually appreciate this video as well. God bless you until I come your way again. You take care and God bless. Bye-bye.